All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about real music in real time for real people, just like you and me. All right, more sad and unbelievable news from the world of music as uh, Sinead O'Connor has died at age 56. Uh, the headline reads, it was with great sadness that we announced the passing of our beloved Sinead. Uh, her family and friends are devastated and have requested privacy at this very difficult time, according to O'Connor's family, who provided this news to ABC. Uh, born December 8th, 1966 in Dublin, O'Connor began her music career in the 1980s. In 1990, she released her sophomore album, uh, Do Not Want What I Haven't Got, featuring her cover of the Prince-written song, Nothing Compares to You. Now, just a little personal reflection on that song, is that song took over the airwaves. It It just literally stopped people in their tracks when it came out. Uh, it was just one of those moments in music history where every format, uh, other than probably country music and, you know, some obscure formats, but we're talking adult contemporary rock stations, everybody, alternative rock. This was one of the most monstrous hits that came out of nowhere that I can remember. And uh, I was on the air at a classic rock station and imagine a classic rock station playing this song. We did, we did. And it hit number one on our survey and it hit number one pretty much everywhere. Uh, propelled in part by a haunting video that played in heavy rotation on MTV, O'Connor's version of Nothing Compares to You became a worldwide hit and was nominated for Record of the Year at the Grammys. Um, another song called I Do Not Want What I Haven't Got won the Grammy for Best Alternative Music Performance, though O'Connor refused to accept the award. Uh, of course, she garnered further controversy during her famous performance on SNL in 1992 when she infamously ripped up a photo of Pope John Paul II while declaring fight the real enemy, the backlash effectively ended her general popularity in the U.S. A little side note to that is that O'Connor was very upset with what the Catholic Church was involved with when it uh, came to children. And uh, we're still fighting those issues today. Um, still, it says here, O'Connor continued to release new music, putting out a total of 10 studio albums, the most recent of which being 2014's I'm Not Bossy, I'm the Boss. In a July Facebook post, O'Connor shared that she was finishing a new record set to be released in 2024. She also released a cover of the theme song to the TV show Outlander early in 2023. Now, it says here, O'Connor long shared her experience with lifelong mental health struggles, which she also recounted uh, in her 2021 memoir called Rememberings. A documentary about her titled Nothing Compares was released in 2022. O'Connor changed her name to Magda David in 2017 and then to something I just can't pronounce here in 2018. She was married four times and had four children. Her son Shane died in 2022. So my guess is she was probably suffering from some pretty severe mental illness, but this article doesn't even talk about cause of death or what it could have been. She was only 56 years old. All right. Um, again, doesn't matter what this is, there is this trend that um, people are dying very young, very prematurely. And uh, of course, this is all post lockdown, post mandates, post, I mean, did all that stuff really work when it came to, you know, mental health issues and, and making people's lives better? Was it worth it? Um, and again, I'm speculating here. Um, this is just really sad. I mean, that song, 
I tell you, it was one of those songs that just stopped you in your tracks. Driving down the highway, you're like, what is this? You know, I remember going, yeah, this doesn't really fit our format here at the Classic Rock Station, uh, but we're going to play it. And the phones just lit up back in the day when, you know, you got audience feedback from the telephone, from the landline phone that had the light on it and the light would light up. And I'd be like, yep, it's uh, Sinead O'Connor again. Uh, Very few songs in my lifetime uh, had that impact on the audience the way that particular song did. By the way, the song was originally written for a band called The Family. You can look up their version. Of course, another uh, Prince offshoot project, but uh, Sinead O'Connor took that song, much like uh, the Bangles with Manic Monday, and turned it into a monster song, a song we won't forget. Uh, Sinead O'Connor dead at the age of 56. Just more incredibly bad news.